Uh, well, we had good matchups, um, and you know Kyle did a great job uh, of dialing up plays all day. He stayed aggressive. Uh, but at the end of the day, it comes down to Julio making some plays. And I uh, thought he you know, played awesome, was huge for us in critical situations, um, and showed how great of a player he is. So that was fun to be a part of that. What was your vantage point on the crossing route that he ended up taking a 35 yards for the touchdown? Well, it looked pretty good from where I was standing. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, that was a great call. I think a really aggressive call uh, by Kyle in that situation. Uh, but we knew, you know, they were going to be downhill against the run game. Uh, did a good job with play action passing and uh, got Julio, you know, the ball in space. And, and when he has the ball in space, he's so explosive. And he just finished the run uh, so good. And, and uh, that was impressive to see. Were y'all surprised they played so much man coverage? Tried to play so much man coverage. Yeah, I mean, no. I mean, that's what they do. They, they play some man coverage in certain situations. And, and uh, they've got talented players and they believe in their guys. Uh, we just found a way to make some of the plays today. Now you found uh, Julio for 300 yards and you still managed to find nine receivers overall. What does that say about your offense? Well, I think that's really good. It's been really good for us, um, you know, spreading the ball around and, and, you know, getting a lot of different people involved. I think it makes it difficult for a defense when you have that guy, that many guys catching passes. Uh, you know, but I think Julio, you know, by his standards, I think he only had 12 catches, which, you know, is a lot, but I mean, he's had bigger receiving uh, in terms of catches. You know, he's had bigger games than that, but his explosiveness uh, and the catches that he made were so critical. So uh, I thought all of our guys played really well, uh, but it doesn't happen without our offensive line getting it done against a really good front seven. Those guys were, were rock solid all day. Well, Alex is awesome. You know, he, he's a great leader. Uh, he's a great teammate, really good competitor. Uh, he's great during the week. I mean, he prepares as well as anybody I've been around. Um, you know, but I think all, all five of those guys have, have really played extremely well through the first quarter of the season. And, um, you know, an offensive line is, is, is all about the, you know, chemistry between the guys and being able to work together specifically within our scheme. And, uh, I think we've got a good group of five guys up front that are playing really good ball right now. All right, well, so, some people have questioned your arm strength. Do you think you still have that Western ball with your game today? Yeah, I mean, I don't really listen to that stuff. Um, you know, I, I know what I'm capable of doing. Our guys know what we're capable of doing. And uh, there were certainly opportunities for us to get the ball down the field today. And we took advantage of it. So I haven't worried about, about that too much throughout my career. Matt, how much of that backed up offense do you all work on? Is it like that? Yeah, yeah, uh, I think we had three drives over 90 yards, uh, which is which is huge. I thought the drive coming out in the second half, uh, the first drive of the second half where the ball got pinned at the one, for us, I think we went 10 plays, 99 yards for a touchdown. That was huge. Um, but we can still get better. And I uh, made a mistake down there early in the game and uh, turned the ball over and, and gave them an opportunity to score points. So uh, while we did a good job, we can still get better there. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, it's been great. We've got a deep offense, a lot of uh, good, talented players across the board, guys that work hard day in and day out and compete every day at practice. Uh, and we've got guys who are eager to get better, you know, that want to improve. And when you got guys like that, it makes it fun to go to work every day. So I'm excited about it. I think Kyle's done a great job of of keeping everybody involved. Um, you know, trying to find areas uh, within a defense that we have an advantage. And uh, he's done an excellent job of that through four weeks. Now, are you guys playing better than you thought coming in? How would you assess this third quarter? I think we've played pretty well at times. Um, you know, we've, we've obviously scored points, which is, at the end of the day, the most important thing. Um, but I, you know, I, I had high expectations for us coming into it. We've got a lot of really good players. We've got a great scheme and uh, you know, expected us to play well. Um, honestly, though, there's there's a lot of things we can improve at, a lot of things we can do better, uh, and that's the exciting part. I mean, you know, we, we can play better than we have up until this point, and that's got to be everybody's focus. You know, we'll enjoy the win, but when we get back to work tomorrow, it's about finding a way to be be better because uh, we're going to face a really good defense in Denver next week. Uh, what does it say about your old line that uh, y'all are willing to throw a guy that is going down there so far? 
Well, that's a lot of trust in those guys. Um, you know, when, when you've got the ball on the one yard line and, and uh, you're willing to, to kind of throw the ball and, and trust those guys to pass protect. Uh, and they did an awesome job the entire day. I thought our backs, you know, did a great job of, of sneaking out of the backfield, catching some balls in some critical situations for us to get the chains moving. Uh, that was really, really important because, um, you know, those drive starts, especially down inside the 10, you know, when you can just get that ball punched out and start going, uh, it's huge. So I thought we did a nice job of that. But again, you know, we can still be better down there. I think Taylor's been excellent, you know, coming in from, from Cleveland uh, in the first week of the season. He had some familiarity with the, with the system, obviously playing for a year with Kyle uh, up there, and I think that's helped him. Uh, but he's talented. I mean, he's got incredible quickness. He's, he's really fast twitch, uh, and he's fearless. I mean, the, the ball he caught on the in cut today shows, you know, what kind of courage and, and toughness he has to be able to go up and, and get that ball and not flinch. Uh, he's a great competitor. Uh, I also think Aldrick Robinson's done a great job for us coming on. It was a huge touchdown catch he had today. Great job by him getting his feet in. Uh, so I, I thought those two guys stepped up and played well for us. Matt, have you ever thrown for 500 yards in a game? No, this is the first time. First time. So uh, hopefully we can do it again. It was the first time in NFL history that someone's thrown for over 500 and had like 300 yards receiving. I know you're not big on personal accomplishments, but what you guys accomplished that you remember throwing for? Yeah, that's um, that's pretty cool to be a part of it. I mean, just to watch the way who played today though was uh, was was really cool. I mean, just every play it seemed like we went to him. He was coming through big, creating explosive plays. To me, the best catch of the day was I think we had a third and three, and he ran a short little under route on the left hand side in traffic, and I mean snatched it and uh, you know didn't even bring it into his chest. And just his hands are so strong. I mean that. He, he had some other great plays, don't get me wrong, but I threw that one and I was like, man, that was a hell of a catch. And, uh, and that was fun to, fun to see. So hats off to him. Uh, he, played, he played unbelievable. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it.